Most of the problems that eagles run into are human caused. The coffin nail for the eagle population was DDT. A wonderful pesticide as far as pesticides go, very effective, but it interferes with the bird's ability to produce enough calcium to have a viable egg. Mid-1970s, New York State was void of eagles. There was a remaining pair out in the Finger Lakes, and that was it. That was the only nesting pair, and they could no longer reproduce because of DDT. Hacking is an ancient falconry practice. Falconer wanted to raise his birds so they were somewhat wild. He didn't want to raise them in his living room. He wanted to raise them out on the wild landscape. So that's what hacking does. It's basically a cage out in the wild. And you put the, the young in these cages and you feed them either with a puppet or you just put food in through a trap door so they don't get imprinted on by people. And uh, when they're old enough to fledge, you open up the cage and you let them fly at will. Initially, in 1976, the first year of the hacking program, it was small, it was kind of a pilot study. They weren't sure it was going to work. And it was at one location at Montezuma National Wildlife Refuge. Those initial eaglets came from like, Great Lakes sources, mainly Wisconsin. Over those five years, from 1976 to 1980, they released 23 eaglets. Two of those birds nested. So that, that was an indication this could work. But they decided to really make this effective, they had to increase the numbers dramatically. The BEC made arrangement to go to Alaska to get the eaglets because the populations have always been healthy in Alaska. So they, after that, three other locations around the state, they built these big hacking towers where they could put out you know, a couple dozen eaglets at each location. When the program ended, they had released 198 eaglets through hacking. And they figured if they were able to get 12 nesting pairs in New York, it would be a big success. I mean, they thought they were shooting for the stars. In 1988, they got their 12th nesting pair in New York. So they ended the hacking program at that time. They figured they had reached their goals, and the Eagles didn't get the message. Their population kept increasing. New York was so successful that uh, I believe 16 other states followed New York's lead and started hacking programs of their own. You don't have to look too hard to find them anymore. So we treat them with great respect, but also just their wildness. You know, they're a big, huge bird. They, live, they can live many, many years, and uh, they were almost on the brink of extinction. They're back, they're beautiful, they're majestic. They're our national symbol. It's just, even though I've seen thousands in my career, and I see them in my yard now, um, but I still am in awe when I see them in the wild. You don't lose that, or I haven't anyway. <laughs>